everybody so this is my first time trying a vlog type thing so we're gonna see how this goes but Joanna from Joanna Reads <laughs> suggested that I try this type of thing because I am a recipe developer and content creator for that uh, as my regular job booktube is definitely a side thing but I am starting a vlogging journey called books and bakes so over the next probably a week or so. Um, join me as I bake my way through a lot of things for my website and as I make my way through air two of this morning. So not baking right now, but making myself mac and cheese. I actually haven't had mac and cheese in about 15 months because it was all I ate while I was pregnant and I desperately needed a break from it, but I was in the mood. So we're having mac and cheese today, but I am now on the Bands of Mourning, uh, an era two of Mistborn, and so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm surprised with how much I'm enjoying it, honestly. I didn't love the ending of the first trilogy. I thought it was good, but I wasn't as enthralled by it as most people seem to be. And I'm not into westerns, that's really not my thing. So. I am very surprised that I am liking Mistborn Era 2 as much as I am. Uh, Mistborn Era 2 starts with the Alloy of Law. That is what it is. Uh, I was confusing it with the second book, with, which is Shadows of Self. So I am listening to these on audiobook. Um, that way I can bake and listen, which has been really convenient. I, I'm not crazy about Michael Kramer as an audiobook narrator, but I feel like I'm getting more used to hearing his voice and his reading, so that's been better for me uh, going forward. I had to cut there because my pot was about to boil over. But Era 2 takes place about 300 years after the original events of the first Mistborn book. So if you're not familiar with Mistborn, it's written by Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson is a very prolific fantasy author. He also does sci-fi as well, but I haven't read any of his sci-fi books so far. Uh, Cytonic, I believe, is one of his big ones. I'm not sure if that's the name of the series or the individual book, so excuse me if I'm wrong on that. But I started reading Sanderson in this past year of December, and I started with Mistborn. And I, I had taken a significant break from reading fantasy due to some health reasons where I had traumatic brain injury and I couldn't read for a really long time but I've always loved fantasy so so much and really wanted to get back into it so I said to my husband please get me Miss Born for Christmas I'm gonna try it and see if I'm able to do it loved it digested it and read it all in probably 10 days the whole first trilogy and not sure if you heard that but that's my toddler yelling from her crib because she doesn't want to nap but I was not enamored with the ending and I'm not going to get into specifics because if people haven't read it then that's fine but Mistborn essentially takes place on a planet called Skadrio where people are granted the ability to use specific metals and that grants them specific abilities so certain abilities are uh, Certain metals can bring on the ability to soothe or calm people around them, or it can be to have extra strength, all kinds of different things. And people who are misborn are people that can use every singular metal. And what I really like about Era 2 is that the story is familiar, but it's new. So I love how Sanderson does that. And even though it's a western setting i'm shockingly liking it and i think part of this is because mistborn the original trilogy was one of sanderson's earlier books and i feel that he has definitely bettered himself as a writer and has matured into his style better by the time that we get to era two so i am enjoying reading it very much. I am not in love with all of the characters, but I could say the same thing for Era 1. Um, I liked the characters for the most part, but I wasn't super crazy about our female protagonist. I thought she was fine, but she wasn't my be-all and all the way that she is for other people. Same with the I'll call him male protagonist for at least the first book. Um, again, I'm not going to give away any spoilers. So the thing I will say about Era 2's characters is that 
our main character, Wax, is a bit plain. He's a little bit vanilla, but that's not too bothersome for me. And I find that Wayne, who is kind of the Robin to his Batman, is a little annoying. But I think that the female characters in this series are excellent. I really, really like uh, all of them. Honestly, I haven't come across a female character that I thought not good, which has been a really nice juxtaposition because I've also been reading Wheel of Time and I have a lot of issues with the Wheel of Time female characters and the way that they're written. I just don't love it. So this has been a really nice juxtaposition. And one of the things I've really loved is the fact that there are species of people and creatures that are in Mistborn Era 1 that have come back from Mistborn Era 2, which is so exciting. So I've really loved that. Um, a brief summary, I suppose, of Avalay of Law is we're kind of getting set up and established in our new story. We're meeting our new people. And we come to learn that Wax is a former lawman, but he's also of a really noble family. And one of the things that kind of carried over from this born era one is the importance of these noble families and the, the roles that they play. What's interesting though, is to see how society has changed because in Miss born era one, we have a very different ruling system uh, than we do in Mistborn Era 2. So it's it's interesting to see those changes and have that set up. And in the first book, my understanding is that Sanderson wrote Alloy of Law not thinking it was going to be a series. He kind of just wrote it as a fun standalone book, but he realized he liked writing these characters so much and their voices that he ended up writing a whole series, which I thought was really exciting. So that's a cool part of it um but alloy of law really kind of just sets up the law of our new story the law of the land um what our new characters are what they're doing how abilities have changed in the last 300 years and how society has advanced so i thought that was really interesting um and then in miss in uh the second book which is shadows of self I loved this because there is a particular character from Mistborn Era 1 whom I love. He's possibly my favorite character in all of the Cosmere, probably other than Light Song, uh, from Warbreaker. And he is in this book and I was ecstatic to say the least. So I really, really enjoyed that. But right now I'm about 60% in to the Bands of Mourning. And the Bands of Mourning is really interesting because it's digging in deeper to the lore of what we were told about in Mistborn Era 1, all while doing it in a really interesting and refreshing way. I think that Sanderson really did something brilliant here where you can build upon a story but still recall things that are sentimental to the reader and interesting to the reader and he's doing it in a really innovative way so i super appreciate that about sanderson in this book so far i'd say it's probably on par with shadows of self for me i ended up giving shadows of self a 4.25 stars out of five so i'm curious to see where i land on it i'm hoping to finish it probably tomorrow. Today is Thursday. Maybe it'll be Friday. Maybe it'll be Saturday. Not too sure. Um, but yeah, and then I'm probably going to jump right into the Lost Metals so I can really get the full Sanderson experience. Hi guys, I am checking out a museum today. I haven't been to a museum in a really long time, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of footage and look around, enjoy myself. I love a good museum. So enjoy with me.
so it's the next day um i didn't get any reading done yesterday because i had my american citizenship test which i passed so that was kind of a big deal and then my husband and i went to a museum which you guys will know about because i have museum content in here but i listened a little bit this morning so i got like two percent more <laughs> done on the audiobook and still enjoying it i'm liking it a lot um the east coast is supposed to get hit with this terrible storm <laughs> this weekend so i'm anticipating i'm gonna lose power and uh then not be able to listen but we'll see what ends up happening who knows hi everyone so i finished bands of morning today and overall i really enjoyed it i would give it probably a 4.5 out of 5. the ending wasn't my favorite ending <laughs> i have a lot of issues with some of sanderson's endings and that's maybe something that i'll do a video of at some point but um a bit under the weather today, <laughs> so I'm trying to kind of just stay above water, but I will say I really enjoyed the book. I feel that Era 2 has really expanded upon the world that he created for Mistborn Era 1, and I think that's a really cool thing. I love that he has done that. I mean, I'm trying to think of another author that's possibly written about the same place in two different time periods that I've read. And I don't, I don't think there's one. I mean, if you count like Outlander or whatever, but that's, that's not really, I don't know, not the same thing in my opinion. But I loved many of the characters in this book. I love Steris <laughs> so much. Uh, Steris is hands down my favorite Era 2 character, but I also really love the Chondra that are in this series so that's been really fun i feel like overall sanderson's writing is better in era two than it is in era one and it's i feel moved away from that ya line and it's because our protagonist isn't a 16 year old girl so i've actually really enjoyed that aspect of it because sometimes i'm in the mood for why other times i'm not I haven't been in the last few days because I've read two YA books already in September. But I really am stoked with how, excuse me, I uh, really am stoked with how Era 2 is coming along. I've been really happy to binge it as well. That's been a really fun thing to be able to do. I'm sad that I won't be able to get to do that in whatever iteration of Miss Born comes out next because realistically I'm gonna read it right away when it comes out. So this has been a unique experience in the sense that I'm gonna be able to actually binge Miss Born. It's basically what I did with Era 1, doing it with Era 2. But I'm kind of coming up on my end of Cosmere reading. So that's interesting because I, since December, will have read Warbreaker Elantris, Secret History Mistborn, The Emperor's Soul, Way of Kings, Era 1, and Era 2. So I've got one or two short story. No, I've got three novellas left, I believe. There's two that are pertinent to the Stormlight Archive. I've got books two, three, four of Stormlight Archive left. And then I think I've got one short story left in Arcanum Unbound. So I'm getting really close. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get it all done this year because the Stormlight Archive is a commitment and I wasn't super enamored with Wave Kings. But I am curious to see now that I've read more of Sanderson, if I'm just used to his writing style more, if I know what to expect more going into, um, is it Words of Radiance? That second, I want to say it's Words of Radiance. Yeah, because then it's Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. Okay, we got there in the end. It's fine. But I'm curious to see how I feel about it. I know that book two is a lot of people's favorites for the Stormlight Archive. I've seen a lot of conflating information, but this isn't a thing on Stormlight Archive, so it's fine. Back to Mistborn. I started listening to The Lost Metal earlier tonight, and 
I only listened to like 2% of it. So I've still got a ways to go. But all in all, I'm excited. I'm curious to see where era two is going to end because my understanding is that era three takes us into the equivalent of the 1980s for earth so that's cool but yeah i am i am definitely excited to see where this is this is going to end up i'm hoping to get some baking done tomorrow if i'm feeling better so we'll bake and tonight i have my live discussion with christopher Novo about the wheel of time show we do that once a week but I didn't get out a review for Wheel of Time this week just because I was too busy. So, and this is going to be my video for this week. So yeah, all in all, enjoying Mistborn Era 2. Super excited to see where the last book takes us. Hey y'all, it's a new day. Still sick, but we're going to bake today. And we're going to start by making apple empanadas. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we made our apple empanadas and I'll show you what they look like. I am now about 18% in to the lost metal and I'm liking it so far. I feel like Plot is moving a little bit slowly, but that's kind of typical of Sanderson and that we're going to get a slow build and then it's going to be the big Sandra Lanch at the end. I'm just hoping that everything is resolved enough for this story <laughs> um, because it's been four books and it would be disappointing if there wasn't a good resolution to the ending. It's interesting with the fact that there's new deities that are being discussed and Cosmere implications, so I'm finding that really fascinating. I also like that some of the female characters are getting more involved in the story. So all in all, enjoying it so far. I am hoping to be done with it in the next couple of days, but we will see what ends up happening. 